right, mic test, mic test. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? I meant to do this video yesterday, but I did it yesterday, but the file got corrupted. You know how that go. So welcome to another episode of The Feels, my reactionary series where you get honest, uh, honest uh, reaction. Ain't none of that fake excitement BS like everybody else be doing. So I seen this video, random video on on Facebook. Um, it's the PlayStation 5 official trailer, quote unquote. Now, the thing is, with these official trailers, they don't really, they, you can't really count these as official trailers, you know, because PlayStation has had, like, several rough, like, fan-made, like, videos and fan-made, like, some type of uh, sketches and things like that, um, you know, um, and a uh, like a whole bunch of like various models for example like when the ps2 was first announced they had like several you know fan-made models that came out uh claiming to be the real thing same thing with the ps3 people had like their you know different um you know models on what they thought the ps3 was going to look like none of them were the were the real thing so again we got to take this with a grain of salt you know this isn't this isn't you know, we, we can't count this as like the official P as the official PlayStation Five. You know, last time I heard they, you know, this past like what June, they were still in the midst of you know developing the PS Five. So again, you got to take this with a grain of salt. But regardless of the fact, I'm still interested in seeing what this is and what it's gonna look like. So let's uh let's get this started. So it kind of looks like the PS2 a little bit. Got like an LCD screen. Error HDMI, whatever that's supposed to be. No disc. Eco-friendly. Ah, so they got a little touch screen in the middle of the, of the pad. That's cool. I mean, you can quick quickly access without having to like take the game out or like exit out of the game for momentarily to answer like a friend request or a message that's cool wire free charging technology how that gonna work AMD Risen, Risen uh, 2X. That's cool. But it said 8K. Real time translation. That's helpful. Okay, wait a minute. So, so what we got to do? We got to back this up. We gotta back this up because it, it was several things that kind of caught my attention that I have a problem with. Now, again, I don't think this is the real PS5. If it is, I mean, cool, thumbs up. As far as the look goes, um, you know, like the first wave of consoles always have like that basic look to them, you know, because they just want to get it out. They're not trying to do anything fancy with the first wave. They're just trying to get it out just as long as it has all the technology to handle everything. So this is the first thing that caught my attention that I think is kind of crazy. No disc. Now, no disc in any console, I think it's kind of like a bad idea. I don't really think, I don't really know how that's going to work. You know, not everybody has access to good internet. So, you know, on disc purchases is like the best thing for them. So having a, a no disc console to where you can only download the games or you know maybe you can like have the games like kind of like sh streamed or something like that i don't i don't know but like having no disc is kind of like a bad idea you know at least until internet internet gets up to par to where you know even the average person can have like good stable wi-fi or good stable wire you know can, you know what i mean just good internet period um 
but there's always going to be that group of people that wants to buy the game on disc because you know it's a feeling of actually having a collection of of video games that a lot of people still enjoy so i don't think having no disc is like a good idea so that right there is kind of like you know i'm not really with that that's kind of like a bad uh, a bad idea so eco-friendly i mean whatever you know like who cares about eco-friendly really i mean it's a good touch but you know now the new dual shot controller this is actually a good idea because this reminds me of like the um of a this reminds me of like the Sega Dreamcast for the people who were around during the Sega Dreamcast era. You know, like they had those little memory cards that you actually slide into the controller itself and it kind of created like a screen. In some games, they had like little interactive games that you could play on it. And, um, you know, this kind of reminds me of that. And this is like a good, you know, uh, a good feature that they added to the controller where at least you don't have to like exit out the game to answer like a friend request you could just do it right there you know on the fly from the controller itself you know you can uh, get like a like um you can get like a like a friend request answered or accepted uh you can answer a message i wonder if like the keyboard is going to be like a little mini keyboard you just got to like use the d-pad to like move around to get like the letters that you want but other than that, I think that's a nice feature if they actually have it like that. Um, another thing that that caught my attention was the wireless um, and also has like a a stress level sensor. You say the more the more the more you are stressed, the more difficult the more the difficulty will in, will increase. I don't necessarily know how that's going to work. I think they'll probably be good for, for, for like, certain games um, to add, like, a challenging aspect to it. For, for example, like, um, like, uh, um, survival horror games, you know, that'll be a good, a good feature for that if they actually do that with a controller. Um, you know, I'm not really, like, a tech buff. I don't really know how that would really work, but... In theory, if it's anything like the way they're explaining it, uh, <clears throat> that'll be like an interesting uh, feature to have for certain games. Um, but not every game needs that, you know. But of course, I guess it's going to be up to the developers whether or not you actually want to uh, use that feature in your video game. So certain games I can see having that. Uh, the fingerprint and touchscreen, you know, that's that's cool. Like the touchscreen is cool. I actually, I actually like that. Now, now here's another thing that really gets me. Gets me wire free charging. Now they actually have this with like several, you know, cell phone um, accessories and um, and other little, you know, accessories as well for like laptops and things like that. But how's that going to work for? I, I, I don't really know. Like I don't really understand wire free charging that good. But it sounds interesting to me. You know, I'm all for it. If you can charge a controller by having like a little bluetooth connector to you know send like a signal to like increase like the ba I, I don't know i don't really know how that would work you know what i mean like i, I don't really understand it but, but it sounds good so i'm with it you know partnership when energus matter of fact let me uh let me look them up energus wire free charging so apparently it's in partnership with these guys. I just want to look them up. I, want, I actually want to see. Transmitters. So they use like a transmitter and receiver uh, hardware to, to, to get it charged. That, that's, that's crazy. That's actually cool. They actually got a little diaphragm here on all the things that can get charged up. You know, that's actually pretty good. But I wonder if it's going to be something that they maybe you can have like a little plug in. As like the thing that sends like the electrical signals out to like the different devices to get them charged. But that's that's crazy. Like I'm definitely interested in actually seeing that in a controller, though. I really am. Like, that's going to be helpful in so many ways. You're going to finally get rid of that wire that, you know, people sometimes lose, you know. So, that's definitely something interesting. I definitely, 
Now, with that being said, oh, wait, hold up. They said, like, the maximum distance is how much? Let's see, the maximum distance. Oh. Thing. The controller is permanently charged with a maximum distance of seven meters. Okay. Um, integrated battery backup, Bluetooth 5.0, which is really good. That means a lot of Bluetooth health headsets, more the, more the advanced Bluetooth health headsets will be able to connect. Um, the Wi-Fi 8. 802.11. I don't know if that connects to five. It should connect to five uh, to point to uh, wow. It should connect to um, what's, the, what's that type of internet? They have like the 2.4, and I want to say that's like the 5 gigahertz internet as well. I'm trying to check my connection. Yeah, but, but they should also let you connect to like the 5 gigahertz internet, which is really good. So, I mean, I don't see why not. It's a new technology. But here's the thing that really gets me right now 8K ready. Now, the thing about the PlayStation 4 that I really like is that it was like prepared for the future in a sense because they already had a lot of things implemented in it to where they didn't have to play catch up like they were ahead of the game now the 8k i mean obviously i don't think anybody's going to be using 8k like we barely got 4k you know we, like we barely scratched the surface of 4k you know what i mean and there's a lot of capture cards that can barely handle that uh so 8k is kind of like crazy but i mean I'm actually interested in seeing how crystal clear 8K is going to look. If 4K looks the way that it does, 8K probably is going to flip a lot of people out. Like, like the DP Connect, whatever that's supposed to mean. Forgive me, I'm not a tech buff. But the AMD Risen X2, that's a, that's a really good graphics card. So I'm definitely looking forward to uh, seeing what that looks like. And um, it was one last thing I wanted to talk about. I, I think it was another thing about the controller. Let me see. As soon as they show it right here now the controller this is the thing that bothers me right now everything looks cool everything looks good the problem i'm having with the controller is that it kind of looks like those bulky xbox controllers like from the xbox well the original xbox um and even on some of the later xbox consoles they this looks very you know way too bulky for anything like this i mean like, like when you look at a controller like this you know what i'm saying like it fits in the palm of your hand really good it uh you know but to have something that big and bulky like you're gonna have to like that's gonna feel weird you know if they can find a way to like shrink the handles down to like something like this while keeping everything else intact like the like the screen and all of that that's actually gonna be good so i think that's that's something that needs to uh to um to get fixed but other than that the the, the handles really are my only issue with the controller uh other than that i mean i like it you know what i'm saying <clears throat> other than that you know it's, it's it's pretty good i don't have no controllers or no uh, no uh, no problems with the controller other than, other than the handle so um yeah so that, that that's pretty much it other than that overall like i said i don't think this is the official P ps5 until next year when they reveal it if they reveal it next year um but i do like the idea that they presented in this video you know regardless if it's the real thing or not but uh you know i, I hope that the real ps4 as, as far as the controller goes has that screen in the middle of it i just don't want, like the handles you know, it was way too bulky. But other than that, I, I, I like everything else about it. Um, but the 8K is just like crazy. Like we, like we barely scratching the, scratching the surface of 4K. You know, what I'm saying like they don't even have 8K TVs out yet. At, at least not to my knowledge. Matter of fact, let's check that. That's something to check. AK TVs. Do they have 8K TVs? They do have AK TVs. These shit's like twenty thousand. Dude, who the fuck is gonna dish up? Really?
yeah, like we don't really need 8K TVs. Holy fucking shit, dude! Look at look look at the price tag on some of this shit. Obviously, it must be for well, these aren't 8Ks, but the 4Ks. But still, like 8K TVs, they coming, but it's just you know, I I mean, I guess it's a good thing that they prepare for the future, so they don't have to worry about it when they are released. But at the same time, it's like nobody needs 8K. Nobody really needs. Nobody really cares for that. Just as long as the quality is good enough, you know what I'm saying? 4K, like, we don't even really need 4K like that, you know, but I'm glad we got it. But, yeah, man, so that's it. Uh, I'm going to link the, this video in the description so you guys can see it for yourself. Um, like I said, I like the concept. I like the idea that they presented. Just slim down the handles on the controllers. Uh, adjust this no-disc feature to where, you know, we can actually have a disc uh inserted into the game uh console and um yeah that's really my only two complaints about the, the thing so hopefully the official ps5 looks somewhat similar to this and uh yeah that's that's pretty much my thoughts on it i didn't really see anybody else speaking on it maybe because it's not the official ps5 uh, release, but most definitely it's something interesting, and I think it was something interesting to talk about. I like it. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below and all that. Make sure you guys follow me on uh, Instagram at the World Warriors Collective. Instagram World Warriors Collective. Let's see if I can figure this out get it to pop up there we go make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram <coughs> my Instagram at World Warriors Collective right there I have new posts about all the new clothing items shoes coming out as well as contests where you guys can win some free unreleased gear so you know ladies I got the leggings for you and pretty much everything already set so just head over there you know check it out see what you guys like and um you know keep keep in touch uh the page like i just made this like last week so like the page is growing most definitely so that's everything man thank you guys for watching peace and i will see you guys later